Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Uh, this is the first kind of, I guess, Q&A session. We thought we'd do a video to answer uh, common misconceptions about us after a couple of our videos went a bit viral. Yes. Um, on YouTube uh, and TikTok. Um, so we really wanted to answer some of the misconceptions, the myths that we're kind of seeing uh, in the comment section uh, of these videos. So. Here we go, let's get into it. Misconception number one. Um, the groom was drunk the whole time. That's me. Uh, there are also a few people saying that I play play too much. What does uh, play play even mean? No idea, uh, but whatever it means, I, I think uh, I disagree with it. Um, so <laughs> we no, do play. I play a lot, I play a lot, I'm a, I'm a playful guy. And that's probably why it looked like I was drunk. Um, I kind of like to stick my tongue out when I'm having a good time. We'll insert um, a picture over here. Yeah, uh, you know, exhibit A, exhibit B. Uh, I kind of like to, you know, stick my tongue out when I'm having a good time. Uh, maybe I should stop that. But uh, no, I wasn't drunk. Um, I, I did not want to. Did not want to get drunk. I wanted to have a good time. I didn't need to. I, you know, was having a good time with the love of my life and uh, my favorite people in the world uh, in this uh, beautiful island of Langkawi. So uh, I think the reason it may have looked like I was drunk is because I'm just a kind of a gregarious, energetic, kind of fun-loving person. Uh, that's the first reason. The second reason is that I literally was the happiest man uh, in the world uh, at that time. And I think a lot of grooms say that when they're getting married, like this woman makes me the happiest person in the world. But I actually meant it and I actually showed it um, in my playfulness. And then finally, I think if you had been through what kind of we went through to, to be together, uh, you know, fighting against uh, discrimination when it comes to kind of racism and uh, long distance for a couple of years, uh, time difference, of course, as well during that time, um, re religion and all kinds of things just trying to hold us back and then finally COVID as well. I think if you'd been through what we went through to, to be together, uh, you'd be looking crazy in love too, drunk in love as Beyonce says, so. That was actually the um, Al Sangeet bar with the back of it, Drunk in Love. It did, yeah. yeah. So I wasn't, I wasn't drunk on alcohol, I was drunk in love with my lady. Misconception number two. What is it? <laughs> Someone didn't prepare. No, sorry guys. It's the fact we, we, we had three weddings. That's the misconception. Um, I think it may, maybe looked like we had three weddings, but that's not quite true, is it? Yeah, so we didn't have, um, it's, it's a weird one. So we got married legally in 2020 in Malaysia, right before the COVID hit. Um, and then we got this kind of celebration that which we posted about, which was in July 2022. So, two. so basically two weddings. Technically, we celebrate two anniversaries, which is a bit weird, but it is what it is. COVID couples, I think, can relate. Um, but basically it could be three because we had our civil and then we had the Hindu wedding and then we had the civil wedding. But Christian wedding, yeah. Yeah, sorry, the Christian wedding. So yeah, but we celebrate like two anniversaries. So yeah. So it was a long full week of celebrations and it just kept like, it was not going to stop. But yeah, basically two weddings, I would say. Yeah, exactly. We, we got married once and then celebrated the other time. So yeah. Should we do the third one? What's the third one? Ooh, Miss. that's a juicy one. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Misconception number three. Yeah, so it would be I didn't want to marry within my race. Um, and I think that's far from the thr truth. And I think it seems like in the comments, like I just abandoned my race and then decided to marry someone um, that I guess typically I, I wouldn't marry um, in our community. So, yeah. I actually wanted to marry within the race and it just didn't happen. Because um, she fell in love with me, the boy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And God had other plans for me and it's not like I forced it. And I was like, oh my God, I do not, do not want to marry a Cindy guy. Um, that was always in the cards and that was always the plan. But it just didn't happen. So yeah, I'm not going to fight it what's meant to be. That's how life goes. You don't necessarily choose who you fall in love with. Yeah, and then from my perspective, um, yeah, the same thing. I didn't intend to marry somebody 
that wasn't uh, within my race, but I, I fell in love with a woman um, who, who yeah, she stole my heart I mean, when we were 19, 20 years old. Um, and it wasn't just based on how she looked, you know, that that's the initial attraction, but then there's her personality, there's the, the things that she values and how that aligned with my values. And, you know, interestingly, there is a, there are a lot of similarities between Nigerian culture and Indian culture, uh, a lot more people, than. But people don't want to hear that. But people don't want to hear that. A lot more than what I was going to say is a lot more than people care to admit. Um, arguably more so than the similarities between Nigerian culture and Caucasian, yeah. like European culture and, and Indian culture and um, European culture as well. So um, the, people don't want to talk about that. People don't want to talk about that. But it's true. So um, that's that's that. Should we do the third one? That was the third one, babe. <laughs> Let's do the fourth one. You read that? Fourth one. Um... Push another, push another <laughs> juicy one. Woo! Uh, too much juice. Let's squeeze it. Okay. Um, so, well, this one's actually for you again. Read it out. Well, I think okay. you have to read it out because it's from your perspective. <laughs> I married him for money. For cash. Bling, um, bling, bling. If I did... Um, I'm still waiting I for the money. <laughs> shame for my father in law as well. Um, um, yeah, so I think that's definitely not true. And like, it's it's interesting to see, like, in the comments where people think that, you know, I mean, it's quite sad to see a girl's gonna marry a guy for his money or it's his looks. But like, the the reason why we should get married, well, my nobody opinion, was saying that in the comment section, by the way, about the looks for me. But as in, like, in it's the reverse actually. No, uh, I think I'm just going to explain why it's, it's nothing to do with any money that I have, but hopefully she's got a laundry list of other things that she likes <laughs> about me, so we'll see what she says. Exactly, so like, it's just kind of sad that people just think, you know, if it's if it's not the looks, then it's marrying for money, why can't it just be because I'm marrying the person for who the person is? So like, basically yeah. married him for his heart, his mind, his drive, his ambition, I think many of you don't know us. You don't know our backgrounds. You don't know us. <laughs> Vicky's a really smart guy. Did really well in school, university. And I think that's what, you know, made him attractive and what I was definitely attracted to. Um, and also, you know, relationships, you have to be comfortable. So I was completely my true self with him, knowing that I wouldn't be judged. Um, and it was refreshing because coming from the Sydney community can be superficial sometimes. And I know I'm going to get some hate by saying that but it's true like we all know it that it's a interesting community i love it and hate it at the same time and yeah so he valued the same things i valued and i was like this is this is good for me so that's the reason why i married bookie and not for you know sometimes the comments is like okay you're completely off and you're completely wrong misconception number five um i bookie married her for her looks that's absolutely that's partly true no it's, <laughs> that's, that is uh, it's not the only reason though. of course like i would, was uh, attracted to the way angelina looks she's absolutely stunning look at her go on girl go get it um but um you can't maintain a long-term relationship we've been together 10 years now you can't maintain a long-term relationship just based on the aesthetics of an individual i mean it's going to be a pretty boring journey so uh, they need to have personality, they need to have heart, they need to have values that align with you. Um, you need to want to grow together um, mentally and, and spiritually, if you if you believe in, in that. So, uh, and these are the reasons why I fell in love with her and continue to fall in love with her every day um, as our relationship grows. So, yeah, I, I love the way, loved the way she looked uh, when we met, still love the way she looks, but that's definitely not the number one or the only uh, reason. Cool. And we're on the last one, which is my favorite one. Um, which was very interesting because it's in the title. So I guess number six. Um, Bonus mis misconception. Misconception is she's Punjabi. Uh, I'm Cindy. I'm <laughs> and I think, well, from just seeing the comments and Seeing... Like a little bit of Diljeet, but she's not Punjabi. <laughs> exactly. So I think the music might have confused people that I'm Punjabi because yes, there's Punjabi music used in our videos by a videographer. But 
um, it's in the title. It says Nigerian, Indian, and then it says Juraba, Sindhi, girl, um, wedding. So yeah, it was quite interesting to see that. But yeah, um, I'm Cindy. I have a whole Cindy girl gang page um, on Instagram. Do go follow. Um, but yeah, Cindy girl gang. Exactly. So yeah. I'm not Punjabi. I'm Cindy. Married a Nigerian. Yeah, that's what it is. That's all. It is what it is. Um, so that's it. So that's a wrap. Thank you very much for checking out our common misconceptions. What was, what was that? It's what you do at the end of a film. You look like an, allig you look like an alligator. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, drop us some comments uh, below. Nice ones. Ideally, yeah, show us love. <laughs> um, no haters, please. Um, but yeah, thanks for checking it out. Thanks. Bye bye. Yes, listen, be gone. Sweet and your baby. 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 S